first VHS tape is a VO Shredder's one. This one has the old logo. Yeah, I do have a really bad cough, so I won't talk as much in this video because of that. This is a interesting release, I have to say. It says MGM UA Home Video Inc. and Philip Morris Inc. But this one's actually recording EP mode, you can see right there. And also, uh, this one has the Star Maker warning, which is also strange. And the MGM logo is not present either. <clears throat> The next four tapes are from Star Maker Entertainment. Fifth day of nineteen ninety eight. This last Star Maker tapes are nineteen ninety five. <clears throat> and yes, it does have the uh, Anchor Bay address. The two hundred and eighty first day of 1995. This next one's pretty rare. Anchor Air Entertainment. However, HGV VO Productions Inc. as well. And this is a Canadian copy. This does have the black screen death at the end. I am gonna do the opening to this tape. Nineteen forty nine film. November twenty second, two thousand two. This is the reprint. Here's the last tape. This is another copy. Want to know why? It's also Canadian. And, not only that, it has this ad inside. Oh, it even has the uh, Canadian thingy and it says YTV on there. That's kind of, that's pretty cool. Uh, May 14th, 2003. Now on to the, uh, never mind. Three blank tapes. Sony, uh, Memorex, and the Max L. Definitely can record some stuff on these. Now on to the three betas. This first one's by MGM, but the other two are by key video. The sides and the back are, on these are like really faded, unfortunately, but whatever. This is a Woody Allen collection. 
Action GBO Beta. Yeah, see? It's really faded. 972 film. No print date. By the way, these, these two are from 1987, but this one is from 1989. Yeah, this one is like in the most fade condition out of all of them. Look at look at this. It ain't good, but whatever. 944 film renewed in 1972. And no print date. Now on to the two DVDs. ADP Films release. From 2001. And the last one. out.